Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library and I've got my Diwali Lantern with me today as our craft that goes along with our preschool story time all about holidays. So this is a pretty simple craft you can make at home. It takes just a few things. So I'll let you take a look at that. It's really pretty beautiful. You can get pretty creative with this craft and make all sorts of designs, but I just chose to overlap different colors of tissue paper to give it, give it a multicolored look. Um, but I will show you what you need to make this craft and we'll get started. So for our Diwali Lantern craft, you'll need a few things. You'll need an old bottle, plastic bottle. This is just a one liter seltzer bottle, something that size is perfect. Um, it's not too big, not too small, easy for small hands. Um, you'll wanna make sure it's clean. So this has been rinsed out. We're gonna dry it also um, once I show you how to cut it. You'll need some white school glue which we're going to mix with water and make our own homemade Mod, Mod Podge out of. If you have Mod Podge, that's also good. Um, you can get that at craft stores. You'll need a paintbrush to spread that with. We'll need scissors to cut our bottle, to cut some yarn. So you'll need yarn for, um, for the part that you can hang your lantern. And you'll need a hole punch to cut the holes to put that yarn in. I've got a little bowl of the homemade glue and water solution here. So you need a little plastic cup, something for that. And of course, tissue paper. I've just got um, a few colors that I chose. Really any colors work well. The lighter the colors, the more you'll see the light showing through. So at night you'd see this, this side a little better because it's yellow and it's lighter than some of the dark colors. And certainly some of these spots I added extra layers so it made them a little darker. So that's something I'll keep in mind while we're making our sample today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get your bottle prepped. So for this one, this is where the adults will have to help. Um, you're going to have to, first of all, take your label off. So it doesn't matter if it leaves anything behind because you'll be covering that up with a little bit of um, tissue paper, but that's pretty good, just having that much there. So we'll put that to one side. And then what we're gonna do is carefully take our scissors or adults, if you're doing this for your kids, you could take a box cutter and we're gonna cut the top of the bottle off so that we only have about half. Now you can make this as tall or as short as you like. Um, this one here is probably about six inches tall. You can see, you know, you wanna make sure you can get your hand inside to put the light. So if you make it too tall, you're not gonna get your hands in there. Um, so I'm going to pause that while I trim the bottle. So the reason I paused it is because making the hole in there is the most difficult part that the grown-ups will have to do. And then you'll be able to cut through and make it the size you like. It is really hard to puncture that plastic to get cutting. And you'll want to make sure you trim it enough so that you're past that little hole you cut. So this will be a little shorter than the one I showed you, but that's okay. So this will be a shorter one. And then after we've decorated it that's and dried, that's when we'll add the holes and the yarn. So we've got our bottle ready to go. The next thing you'll need to do is to get your tissue paper. So I've just cut up a bunch of pieces, all different color squares. This is where you can decide, do you want to have it just be a multi-layered, multi-color look, or do you want to make a design? If you have kids that are a little bit into arts and crafts, they might choose to make a design. Otherwise, just making it like we did today gives you a beautiful, beautiful Diwali lantern. Diwali is the festival of light, so all of these would be wonderful additions to any holiday celebration. So once you have your pieces cut, you're gonna get your glue solution made. So what I've done is I've used Elmer's School Glue, which is just liquid white glue and water. It's an even ratio, so I use just as much school glue as I did water, and it makes this really milky kind of solution, a um, little thinner than what Mod Podge would be. And just have it in a little, little cup. And what we're going to do is, now you could choose to work on a, um, a paper plate, whatever you like. This is a, a, like a laminate countertop, so it's easy to clean afterwards, so I'm not too worried about it making stains because it's pretty forgiving, but certainly you wanna have newspaper down or something to protect wherever your kids are working so it doesn't ruin because tissue paper does have color in it and it will leave color behind. So just keep that in mind. 
So I like to work with mine upside down and then just slowly, you could even have your kids hold it with their hand inside a little bit at a time. Add a little glue and add your tissue. You're gonna get very sticky with this project, that's for sure. And maybe just put another piece of red and this is where it's okay to overlap them and kind of add the glue on top again to seal it in and just slowly go around. Maybe this is something you spread the glue and your kids add the colors, whatever you like. Kids work at all different ability levels, so you know your kids best and what they can do. And that. We keep an old box of tissue paper here at the library, so we've got all sorts of colors. Sometimes you may not want to save tissue paper when it's been in a gift bag because it's all wrinkled and crumply. Those would be great to save for a craft like this. So we've got a couple colors on there. We're going to keep making our way around and around, and eventually it will be covered, and we'll put it to dry like this. So I'll show you what it looks like once I've gotten the whole um, empty bottle covered. So I finished covering the bottle with tissue paper. I went a little lighter on this one than I did the original sample, just so you can see the light shine through a little better. So, And I placed it on some paper towels to dry. I'm not worried about the bottom too much because it's gonna be sitting on the bottom. So this one I went a little farther, you can see, but really the, the sides are what we're going for here. So, and I left some spots where the lights will peek through too. They're not completely covered. So you'll wanna make sure this is completely dried before you poke holes in it with your hole punch. Um, we'll be punching one in each side to hang, so those will be evenly distributed. And then we'll be using our yarn to make the hanger. And that you could use ribbon, yarn, anything like that that you have around the house. So we'll let that dry completely and then we'll put on our hanger. Our lantern is pretty much dry, so the next thing you're gonna do is take a hole punch and punch two holes, one on each side, directly across from each other. There we go. So you can see the holes on each side. And then we are going to take some yarn so we can loop it through. So about maybe two ruler lengths depending on how high you want to hang your lantern. And then just loop it through one side, the other. And when I tie a knot, I like to gather two ends together, wrap it around like a loop and push through. And this one I chose to also give a little bow, whatever you like. And then all you need to do is add your light. So let's take our light from our other one and pop it in. And we'll see how it looks with the lights off. Oh, beautiful. So you can see this one glows a little bit more since I added less layers and lighter colors, of course. So this is our Diwali holiday lantern that you can make for Diwali or any holidays that celebrate with lights.